Critical, creative, unbiased. Good day, everyone, and welcome to the third episode of the Camelian Rundown for the academic year 2023-2024. We are your hosts, Patricia Ann Arena and James Gabriel Onyate, and today, let's recap the events during the third semester of this academic year. With their trials and triumph, high schoolers from Luzon showcased their inter-school talents in Mapua MCL Cup 2024. Here's Alec Espino to report. Thank you, James. This June 2024, Mapua Malayan College Laguna hosted its annual inter-school event, the Mapua MCL Cup, Empowering Generation Green, with a total of 27 participating high schools from various provinces in Luzon. After being postponed due to the extremely high heat index in May, the tournament finally took place on June 10 to 14. Furthermore, there were a total of 17 competitions during this event. Lastly, this year's MMCL Cup overall winner was the Sisters of Mary of Banyu Incorporated with 840 points, followed by Sisters of Mary School Atlas Incorporated with 710 points, and STI College Global City with 320 points. This is Alec Francine Espino reporting. Thank you, Alec. Mapua MCL welcomes BS Aeronautical Engineering aspirants starting school year 2024-2025. Here is John Victoison to report. Thank you, Shan. Last April 27, the Mapua MCL Institute of Aviation, or MIA, introduced in a showcase event the incoming Bachelor of Science in Aeronautical Engineering for the school year 2024-2025, which aims to propel aspiring aeronautic students to new heights in their aviation careers. Dean Captain Michael John P. Reyes briefed the seminar's attendees on what should the community expect on the new program. Looking back, the program and the entire new college department's unveiling took place during Mapua MCL's 18th Foundation Week in January 2024. On May 7, 2024, Mr. Oscar B. Mapua Jr., grandson of Thomas B. Mapua, also visited the campus where Captain Reyes presented MIA's plans. This is John Victoison reporting. Thank you, John Vic. ETYCB Student Council offers carnival rides to Mapuans in ETYCB Week. For more of this news, we have Alec Espino. Thank you, James. From May 28 to May 31, 2024, the ETU College of Business Student Council hosted the ETYCB Week titled Circus Quest. It mainly featured carnival rides like the teacups, the Vikings, the octopus, the flying fiesta, and the caterpillar for 65 pesos per ride. In fact, it was the first time after the pandemic for Mapua MCL to cater to such attractions on campus. Aside from these, the week was packed with events including sports competitions and various seminars participated in and hosted by the ETYCB programs. Finally, at the College Week's finale were the awarding ceremony and the mini-concert, which culminated the carnival experience of the ETYCB students. This is Alec Espina reporting. Thank you, Alec. Mapua MCL's ACM caters to 15 teams for their third annual Codex Inter Senior High School competition. Here is John Victoison to provide you with the report. Thank you, Patricia. Mapua MCL's Association for Computing Machinery, or ACM, held its third annual Codex Inter Senior High School programming competition on April 20, 2024. The event, aimed at promoting coding skills among youth, featured 15 teams competing in Java coding challenges designed by ACM members and alumni. In the end, Team Chimutengu Bariko from Pamantasan ng Kabuyao Senior High School won first place, followed by Team Teknolohista from Lyceum of Alabang in second, and Team Icoderists from Systems Technology Institute Carmona in third. This is John Vic Tuazon reporting. Thank you, John Vic. Mapua MCL continues to produce top-notch professionals as Mapuans pass the board exam. To provide you the further details, here is Alec Espino. Thank you, James. Through the year, Mapua MCL has achieved high passing rates in various licensure examinations. This includes the February 2024 Mechanical Engineering Licensure Examinations with a 72.28% passing rate. 
Moreover, from the series of tests in April 2024, the school achieved a 94.44% passing rate in electrical engineering, 80% in electronics engineering, and 100% in industrial engineering. The institution also congratulated its 51 new civil engineers after their respective boards. It can be recalled that Mr. Jesher Rotagenes even secured fourth place in the top notchers list of this November 2023 CELE session. Additionally, Mapua MCL achieved a high passing rate of 83.87% in the Chemical Engineering Licensure Examinations, which makes it ranked 6th nationwide, and a 40% passing rate in the May 2024 Certified Public Accountants Licensure Examination. With many more board passers unmentioned, these results underscore Mapua MCL's dedication to academic excellence and producing top-notch professionals. This is Alec Espino reporting. Thank you, Alec. BMMA students mix up creativity and diversity in a student-led event Halo Halo 2024. Here is John Victuazon to report. Bachelor of Multimedia Arts students served up a visually refreshing experience amidst the Philippine heat with their Halo Halo 2024 Arts in Diversity last July 12 to 14, 2024 in Festival Mall, Alabang. Ranging from speakers proficient in their own fields and artists who wanted to showcase their abilities to the community, Halo Halo offered several opportunities for both attendees and organizers to grow as creatives and enjoy working with their craft. Now here we have one of the directors for the said event, Ms. Eliza Andosai or Ms. Ali. Hi, Ms. Ali. Uh, I have a few questions for you. Are you ready? Sure. Okay. I'm ready. So the first question is, what is your main objective in organizing this event? Uh, so Halo Halo 2024's main objective is to create a vibrant fusion of artistic expression. So just like the name itself, we would like to mix different kinds of talents then connect people from different backgrounds and show them or show the people and audience or everyone that every artist has different sets of talents and skills that we can showcase and that we can mix and create a new type of medium or art. So why did you choose the Young Focus and Love Yourself organizations as your main beneficiaries? Uh, first off, we chose Young Focus as our main beneficiary because we at Halo Halo would like to let the poorest children in the Philippines to experience the art and the joy in creating art. For Love Yourself, since their motto or their goal is to unite, unite different types of people, ganun din po yung gusto namin for Halo Halo. So uh, we would like to encourage everyone to love their self and to appreciate what skills and talents they have since that what makes them as an artist and as a person. So. Yun. So lastly, what has been your favorite part of Halo Halo 2024? Personally, I have many, many uh, favorite experiences during the creation of Halo Halo 2024. Pero for now, I think my favorite part is the yung event mismo. Kahit, uh, kahit uh, stressful and very tiring siya, nag-enjoy ako since nakikita namin na ito na yung fruit of our labor, yung hard work namin, ito na siya, uh, in the flesh na siya. So parang very excited kami na, hala, yung ginawa namin for the past three months, nandito na at pwede na namin siyang ipakita for everyone. So yun yung pinaka-favorite part ko of the Halo Halo 2024 event. Well, thank you Miss Ali for that uh, wonderful answers. And uh, that's it for today, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Bob. <laughs>And that is the end of the episode of the rundown for the academic year 2023-2024. Once again, I am James Kifel Onyate. And I am Patricia Ann Arena. See you on the next and last episode of the Camelian Rundown.